Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Awesome. Welcome to the swearing-in ceremony for Dr. Miles Allen, our newly appointed fire chief for Douglas County. This is indeed a momentous occasion. I'm going to lead us in applause there. <laughs> I'm Yvette Jones, Chief Communications Officer for Douglas County. It is a pleasure to welcome you on behalf of the Board of Commissioners, led by Chairman Phil Miller, who serves with Vice Chair and District 4 Commissioner Mark Alcarez, District 1 Commissioner Ricky Dobbs, and District 2 Commissioner Whitney Kenner-Jones. I'd also like to acknowledge County Administration, Dr. David Corbin, um, he was our county administrator, assistant county administrator, and chief of staff. I also call her Jacqueline of all trades because she does a whole lot. Uh, Tiffany Stewart Stanley. Our county clerk, Lisa Watson, and our county attorney, Michael Coleman. Before we delve into uh, the moment of the hour, let us first begin with the presentation of colors by the Douglas County High School Junior ROTC, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Order, arm, right, face, forward, march. All right, thanks so much to our youth for that. Let me now invite to the podium James Worthington, Director of Development Services for our invocation. Good afternoon. Before we start, I wanna say personally, congratulations. Dr. Chief, I know you got this. I'd also like to mention that today is the National Day of Prayer. Um, and the theme this year is lift up the world and light up the world, I mean lift up the world, sorry, lift up the word, light up the world, that's tough to say. So um, that's drawn from 2 Samuel chapter 22, so let us pray. Lord our Heavenly Father, we thank you again for another opportunity to stand before you, Lord, so thank, thank you for the strength to be here, Lord, thank you for this good gathering here in support of uh, Dr. Allen, Lord, just ask you to Bless this department, bless him, Lord. Give him guidance and wisdom, Lord. Strength to unify this department, Lord. Uh, take them to progress in this county to new places, new heights, Lord. To watch over all of the first responders, Lord. All the men and women that serve this county, his administration, Lord. Just ask you to keep them safe, give them strength, give them peace, give them wisdom. Let them do uh, things that are right to you, right to the citizens, and right to this county, Lord. I ask you to continue to watch over us, watch over this county, and watch over our country. These things I ask in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Director Worthington, for those words of inspiration. I'd like to now take a moment to recognize uh, any elected and appointed officials with us uh, this afternoon. Please stand. I do see our city council here as well. And our mayor. Also wanted to acknowledge our superintendent is in the room, uh, chamber leadership. Can you both stand and be recognized? Sarah Ray, Trent North. Thank you all so much for being here. And I'd also like to take this moment to acknowledge members of our firefighter community from the front lines to command staff, please stand.
Thank you all for being here with us today. We appreciate your service and thank you for pro protecting life and property 24 seven. We know you are always on and we appreciate your service and your sacrifice. So now I'd like to invite to the stage uh, a few people for some opening remarks before we begin uh, with our swearing in ceremony and oath of office. Let me first invite to the stage Mayor Rochelle Robinson from the city of Douglasville. Good afternoon and welcome to the city of Douglasville. We are so pleased to have you this afternoon, morning and afternoon now, and we want to just give thanks and honor our fire chief. Now, Fire Chief Allen, I don't know if you know this about him, and I see some other fire chiefs and one that I saw in Union City. Thank you. You said you were coming. You're a man of your word. Good to see you, Chief. Um, but Chief Allen is a quiet storm. And those are the kind that you really need to be nervous about. Because some people walk in a room and they make a big hoopla, but you know, he's quiet and he carries a big stick. And that big stick is that he is a father figure, he's a man of integrity, he is a person to be looked up to and to role model after. And we thank you for your example. We know that in storms sometimes things can get wrestled up and thrown down, but like a palm tree, he just leans with the storm and he comes back up, he bends, but he doesn't break. And so we thank you for that, Chief. We thank you and we know that as you take this position and you're at the helm, that you will continue to regulate, um, manage, and look after the departments in the fire department, but not only that, that you will empower your people the, lead, the leaders as well as the firefighters to protect people, property, and pets. And so from our family, the city of Douglasville family, please stand up again, Douglasville. We have our elected officials, our deputy chief, all the people that work and serve in the city of Douglasville. I don't know if we have any other appointed officials. Our city manager, thank you all for coming. And chief, see that the support that you have in the city of Douglasville. We thank you and we know that you're gonna do a wonderful job as you continue to lead the fire department, protect us, and know that you can always call on the people of Douglasville. And from my other family, the Robinson family, we have a son who's in the fire department and he takes it very seriously. His name is Joel and Joel can be a little of a knucklehead sometimes because he's the only boy, you know, he has two sisters and so we kind of spoiled him a little bit. But being in this the fire department is making him grow up real fast, Chief Lou goes up real fast. And so um, there was a fire I'm trying not to get upset about it, but there was a fire and um, the first thing is that Joel, when he was little, he went to the fire station, um, I think it was fire station 10. He always had birthday parties at the fire department. And I have pictures of him when he was three and four and five years old. He wanted to go to the fire department. And they allowed us to come. He had his boots on over in the uh, fire department on the north side for one fire uh, birthday. Then he had a birthday in the downtown fire department. Then he went on Chapel Hill. So we didn't know at three, four, and five when he was watching Harold the Helicopter and uh, Thomas the Train that he was gonna one day wanna be a firefighter. But um, he did go to the Forsyth Academy and he doesn't tell me what's going on. So I have my city manager, I don't know if I'm not city manager, but a city attorney, I'm talking longer, this is gonna be funny. Okay, the city attorney fell down and broke his hip, Mr. Dotson. And he was in his kitchen and he said he called 911 and he looked up and he was, Mr. Dawson was out of the city for six weeks. So we didn't know, you know, we knew he had broken his hip, Miss Callan, and, and um, when he came back, he was on a little walker and he said, Madam Mayor, I was in my kitchen and I fell down and broke my hip. He said, and I looked up and I said, hey, Joe. He said, Joe said, hey, Mr. Dotson. So he had taken him to the hospital and he said, that young man is nice. He held my hand. He stayed with me until I got admitted into a room and Madam Mary prayed for me. He said, that's a nice young man that you have. And so I said to Joel, Joel, why didn't you tell me that you were talking to Mr. Dotson? He said, mom, I can't tell you anything, it's HIPAA. 
but there was a fire in Chapel Hill. And so um, he, I guess he was the lead person in that fire and he went into um, the house. It was a, a situation where I think a, a gas grill or something had blown up in the swimming pool and it had caught the house on fire and it was a grandmother and her grandson. And so Joel said the little boy was crying and he said, cause they had gotten the family out. And he said the, the, grand, the little boy was crying and he said, my pets, my pets. And so um, I have to con him to come home now because he's moved out and I try to say like, we're having spaghetti tonight or gumbo, can you come home and eat? But this day I didn't have to con him to you know, try to trick him to come home. He came home and he said, mom, this fire today. And um, he said, and, and the little boy was crying. He said, and I was wondering what was going on. I'm looking at him and he said, my pets, my dog. He, so I, he said, I ran back in and I got the dog out. He said, then I was going in, he said, no, my other dog. So he ran back in again, and he said he kept motioning for the dog to come, but the dog kept moving back, and everything started coming down. So we couldn't save the second dog. And he came back out, and he said he was very upset that he couldn't get the second dog. So that day, he came home, and he wanted to eat spaghetti for comfort. And I just looked at him, and I thought to myself, this is my son, that a risk is life for a pet. But the mother in me said, boy, don't run back in there to get a dog. <laughs> but he said, mom, we have to protect people, pets, and property. So thank you from um, the Douglasville family and from our family, the Robinson family, for being who you are. Thank you to all the first responders, police officers. I was in law enforcement, firefighters, those who save our lives and come and get us when, we, when we're falling down in the kitchen floor and can't get up. So God bless you, Fire Chief, and your beautiful wife and family. Thank you so much from the city of Douglasville. So we have gifts from the city and gifts from our family. Thank you. God bless you. Quiet Storm, we're adding that one to the repertoire. All right, I'd also now like to invite Randy Toms to the podium, who is the Executive Director of the Georgia Firefighters Standards and Training Council, for a few words. Okay, so I know y'all don't know me, but I should never have to ask you to clap for me when I come up, okay? So we won't go through the whole thing again. You followed, followed along, that was good. So I am Randy Toms. I'm the Executive Director of Georgia Firefighter Standards and Training Council. Um, and n most of y'all in here, if you're not in the fire service, you don't have any idea what that is, and that's okay. But it's good to be here today. And I just wanna talk just a minute about Chief Allen. Um, I think, uh, for the record, I, I'm proud of him for being a doctor. Uh, but having been in the fire service since May the 6th, 1985, Chief, that's almost 39 years. Um, I think Chief outranks a doctor. <laughs> so I'll always call you Chief. And more than that, I call you friend. I just want you to know that. And so I, I got involved with this fire agency, fire department, early in my tenure. I've been in this position since March of, um, of 22, so a little over two years. And for uh, reasons that we won't talk about, I got involved in Douglas County pretty early in my tenure here and uh, realized that they needed some help. Um, I, I'll tell you a little bit about me. So I spent, um, like I said, I've been total in the fire service, never left the fire service. I've been chaplain of the Fire Chiefs Association. Uh, when I retired in 2012 from Warner Robins Fire, um, I actually became mayor of the city of Warner Robins. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if amen's appropriate or not. I don't know. <laughs> amen was when I lost an election for my third term in 2021. That was amen. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, that's a fact. Um, because two months later, I was in the position that I'm in now. So I'm back in the fire service officially. I will tell you this, though, that having been um, a, 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 I'm a preacher, which means I can talk a while, and I'm a former politician, and former, the emphasis on the word former politician, um, I understand a little bit how government operates, uh, which I think for the record, for those in the fire service, I think it's helping us um, on, on a state level as far as my understanding of fire service la uh, language and politics language. I've been able to help us get some laws passed throughout the state, which you'll hear about at some point. Uh, because of my knowledge of that, but I also understand that government runs um, at the speed of pouring peanut butter out of a jar. 
Amen? Amen. And that's just the truth because from my perspective, I grew up in the fire service. And uh, for those like, like Joel, um, I, didn't bec- I didn't become a firefighter because I grew up wanting to be a firefighter. I, 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 I have a book out, and David can share that book with you. David and I have known each other for several years now. But uh, in my book, I talk about how I grew up wanting to be a chicken thief. Um, right? It's a true story. Um, I can honestly say today, though, that I have never actually stolen a live chicken. Um, A live chicken. I stole some chicken, processed chicken, out of the back of a convertible when I was a teenager to go on a camping trip. I did do that, so I confess, but it's past the statute of limitations, (laughs) which is why I was qualified to be in politics. Now, I'm just kidding, Miss Mayor. I'm just kidding, right? But I do understand that government runs slowly, but growing up in the fire service, they used to ask me when I was mayor why I took so long to make a decision sometimes. And my answer was, because I can, because I can do that. I said, I had over 25 years, 27 years of experience and training on how to make quick decisions. I can make quick decisions, right? But I make those decisions because I had that many years of training and experience under my belt. But when you have a chance to make decisions that take longer, you do. But my question as a firefighter um, and from being able to make quick decisions is what took so long to make Chief Allen the chief of this department? I I know, that's y'all's business. It's not my business, but good Lord, he is an awesome individual. He has been very active with me and my agency with what we've had going on in this department and even others. Chief Allen and I have spent a lot of time in person I'm talking about how to make his agency better here in Douglas County. We've spent many, many times on the telephone with him trying to get advice on how to do things properly when when and if he would say, I would always say when he would say if he gets this position, how to make this department better. And I'm just going to tell you all, you all have picked an incredible, incredible individual, firefighter, human to be the chief of Douglas County Fire Department. I'm proud to have, have been his friend now for the last couple of years. I'm looking forward, even though I'm a whole lot older, I'm looking forward, I know, I know, I don't look older. Um, <laughs> but trust me, I am. Um, but I'm looking forward to many years of working with you. Uh, y'all did a great job. Again, I'll never get over that question though, what took you so long? But then again, government runs at that speed, right? So congratulations, Chief. I'm proud of you. I'm always here for you. My agency, um, and you know, as far as representation for Northwest Georgia and even for Douglas County, uh, the representative out of my agency couldn't be better. Uh, Christina Tipton is always here for you. Uh, she gets all of her knowledge, all of her, any, any kind of wisdom or ability from me, um, which is not true, but it makes me feel good saying that. But we're always here for you. I'm proud of you. And uh, I know you're going to do a great job for Douglas County and all the surrounding area. So uh, thank you all for selecting him as your fire chief. God bless you. Chief. Thank you so much. I appreciate that levity. You got a round of applause when you came on stage and when you left the stage. We appreciate you. <laughs> all right. Before we turn to the moment we've been waiting for, a little bit about our honoree. You've heard a few things already. Miles Allen is a 35-year-plus fire and emergency services professional. He is a retired 21-year military veteran of the United States Air Force and Air Force Reserves. While in the Air Force, Chief Allen was deployed in campaigns such as Enduring Freedom, Operation Southern Watch, Desert Shield, and more. He is highly decorated, having received several Air Force Achievement Medals, Air Force Commendations, and Air Force Expeditionary Medal. Chief Allen has been employed with the Department of Defense as a civilian firefighter at Dobbins Air Reserve Base, then later transitioning to working with the nation's largest defense contractor, Lockheed Martin Aeronautics Company in Marietta for 18 years. There he began as a captain in operations, then was promoted to assistant chief of operations, and later moved to assistant chief of prevention and life safety. Chief Allen has a significant background in fire department leadership, 
military leadership, and corporate leadership. He is trained and knowledgeable in various facets of emergency management and fire and emergency services, and has a long list of certifications and commendations, as you might imagine. Last year, Chief Allen received his PhD in criminal justice with a specialization in homeland security, allowing us the privilege of calling him the good Chief Dr. Allen. Chief Allen and his wife, Dr. Michelle Allen, and their family have been residents of Douglas County for over 20 years. Chief Allen is excited and ready to serve the citizens of Douglas County and make decisions that will positively impact the culture, morale, and effectiveness of the Douglas County Fire Department. On March 5th, 2024, Chief Dr. Miles Allen, who had served in the interim fire chief capacity, was officially named to the position by a unanimous vote of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. And this morning, this afternoon now, he will be sworn in by Vice Chair Mark Alvarez, who also serves as chair of the Public Safety Committee. Following that swearing in and oath of office, Chief Allen will be pinned by his wife, the other good doctor, Michelle Allen. Vice Chair. It's because we're politicians is why they're not applauding. <laughs> All they see is, there he goes again, the one that took our tax money. But <laughs> It's an honor to be here with you today on this great occasion. As Vice Chair of the Douglas County Board of Commissioners and Chairman of the Douglas County Public Safety Committee, I'm delighted to know <clears throat> that the Douglas County Fire Department is going to be in the command of a knowledgeable, devoted, and gracious leader. As a result of Chief Miles Allen's leadership, I know the Douglas County Fire Department and the citizens of our great county is going to be in good hands. Without any further ado, Chief, come on up. <clears throat> your lovely bride. Chief, if you'll raise your right hand and repeat after me. I, state your name. I, Dr. Miles Allen. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear or affirm. That to the best of my ability. That to the best of my ability. And skill that I will truly and fairly. That I will truly and fairly. Perform the duties of fire chief. Perform the duties of fire chief. Of the Douglas County Fire Department. Of the Douglas County Fire Department. And will faithfully discharge. And will faithfully discharge. All the duties. All the duties. That may be required of me. That may be required of me. In all cases. In all cases. To, com to conform to all rules. To conform to all rules. And regulations. And regulations. That shall be made. That shall be made. By the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. By the Douglas County Board of Commissioners. I further swear or affirm. I further swear or affirm. That I am not the holder. That I am not the holder. Of any unaccounted or public money. Of, in, of any unaccounted public or funded money. Due to the state. Due to the state. Or any political subdivision. Or any political subdivision. Or authority thereof or authority thereof. <clears throat> I am not the holder of any office. I am not the holder of any office. Or trust under the government. Or trust under the government. Of the United States. Of the United States. Or any other state. Or any other state. Or any foreign state. Or any foreign state. Which I am by the laws. Which I am by the laws. Of the state of Georgia. Of the state of Georgia. Prohibited from holding. Prohibit from holding. <clears throat> I otherwise I am otherwise qualified. I am otherwise qualified to hold said office. To hold said office according to the Constitution. According to the Constitution and the laws of the state of Georgia. And the laws of the state of Georgia. And I will support. And I will support and uphold the Constitution. And uphold the Constitution of the United States. In the United States and of this state. And of this state. Congratulations, Chief Allen. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate you. Thank you.
15 year old. At this point, we would like to invite um, Chief Allen's command staff up to the stage. Uh, he is going to share a little bit more with us about uh, the ceremonial pinning of his command staff. If you guys would come on up and take center stage. And following that, we will hear from the good uh, Chief Doctor. Uh, so first, let me just say uh, thank you, everybody, for coming out. Um, this is this is definitely a a labor of love, uh, professionally and personally. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead with the just give you an idea of what I wanted to do as far as depending of uh, my current command staff. Uh, just last year or the beginning of this year, uh, we did something uh, different in the county. Uh, for many, many years, the county has been governed under, uh, as far as fire operations, just one individual. Uh, but with the help of the command staff and, and my battalion chiefs and my captains and my lieutenants and sergeants all the way down to my firefighters and even the recruits, we decide to split the county. Splitting the county means uh, instead of having one person over 10 stations, we have two people over five stations and we're breaking it down so the command the span of control is not so much and from from our uh, from our efforts it seems to be working so along with that I want to be able to recognize my my immediate command staff and present them with the penny Uh, just so that everybody knows, um, we did change our rank structure within the fire department. So uh, from, from my left to my right, uh, Division Chief of Operations is uh, Chief Corey Shelton, uh, followed by the Deputy Chief of EMS and Training, uh, Stacy Farmer, and the Assistant Fire Chief, who's basically my right-hand man, uh, Chief uh, Pablo Lugo. Additionally, I don't, I don't want to leave out, uh, I would be remiss if I left out uh, all my battalion chiefs. And uh, because it's six of them, I can name them right off the bat. I got uh, Chief John Hurley, Chief Kelly Hardy, Chief Travis Major, Chief, Chief Doug Dickens, Chief Dan Collin, and Chief CJ Zachmeyer. I got way too many captains and way too many lieutenants, but. So, all right, um, I, I originally had a speech written, um, but because of everybody that showed up today, it kind of just threw me off my game. Um, you, know, uh, you know, showings like this is, is very emotional to me, and uh, I'm not too much of an emotional individual. Um, but first, let me, let me uh, I'm gonna try to read this, so y'all bear with me. 
Uh, first, let me thank uh, Chairman Phil Miller, the Board of Commissioners, uh, County Administrator Dr. David Corbin, Assistant County Administrator and Chief of Staff Tiffany Jack of Jacqueline of all, all Trades, Danley Stewart, the Douglas County Fire Department staff, personnel, and members. You are all my family. Uh, for those that that really know me, I call everybody brother and sister throughout the station. You know. Uh, brothers, the, the sisters. I mean, that's, that's what you guys are. I especially want to thank my beautiful wife, Michelle. Uh, you are my rock. You are my, um, you're my everything. My kids, my mother who couldn't be here today, but my godmother's here, my godmother Rose and my cousin Mike. That was a surprise too, y'all. Um, I'm truly honored and grateful to stand before you as the Douglas County Fire Chief. I said I wasn't gonna get emotional. I'm not an emotional guy. <laughs> oh, my glasses are a little dirty, they're fogging up on me. This is a position that I, that I accept humbly and with a servant heart. Uh, what has been open, what has been an overwhelming process has turned out to be a testament and a lesson on how much support I have received from, <laughs> from Douglas County government. Um, the, uh, the executive team, Dr. Corbin, you put, the, you put together a, uh, a, a super group. And uh, since day one that I got into this position, my HR folk, y'all have been, <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say y'all have been there for me. Um, it's been a testament, a lesson on how much support I have received from Douglas County, the community. I've been a, a member of this community for the past 23 years, and I pretty much know, you know people from Kroger to Publix to Walmart and the administration. I would, be, I would be remiss in not recognizing who has made all of this possible and that's the good Lord above. Um, I'm not that much of a religious person, but I know where my, where my foundation has, has been built. I'm grateful, I'm grateful for the people who have guided me on my, on my journey, the good supervisors and the bad ones. And over the years, I've had both. But it was the bad ones that without realizing has forced me to excel. Without realizing it, they forced me to work harder and to raise my skill level. They forced me to have confidence in myself, face the many challenges that inspired me to build, that inspired me to build on my career and my self-worth without any compromise. Today, I am thankful for God's mercy and grace. <laughs> My faith, my family, and my perseverance have, have led me to this position of trust and leadership within the Douglas County community where I have been a citizen for over 23 years. My approach to the role of fire chief is to lead with compassion, courage, and what else? Commitment. That is the motto of the Douglas County Fire Department. I will also be dedicated to the safety and well-being to the safety and well-being to the men and women of the Douglas County Fire Department and the community we serve. My number one deal is the, the safety of my people. Make sure my people are coming to work and able to go home the next day and have the mental capacity and the emotional awareness to know when they can come and talk to us. As we serve the citizens, the businesses, and visitors to Douglas County, I've been most fortunate to be placed on the winning team of firefighters and administrative personnel. I will not forget my administrative personnel. You guys rock. You guys take care of everything from making sure the folk get paid to making sure we have uniforms to wear the next day. So thank you very much. And today I will serve and provide my staff with the needed resources they need to fulfill Douglas County's mission. I will, it, I would be honored to serve you as your fire chief and to serve this community. 
to my brothers from Dobbins and Lockheed. Uh, coming down here in 99, you guys have embraced me and took care of me. Um, from day one I got here to the day I got activated for 9-11 and then coming back and then going over to Lockheed. Uh, to my brothers, Sticks, we've been together since early, early to mid 90s. You watch me grow. Dave, you, you taught me some things that um, I didn't know but now I do. You taught me how to be a good leader. To Willie Parker, you taught me how to work within your system and to trust the people that, that work for you because I wouldn't be here without my staff. Lastly, to my queen, I already told you, thank you for being my rock, my best friend, my boss. <laughs> I love you. To my son, You the man. <laughs> Even though you're taller than me, I'm, I'm still better than you. <laughs> Even though you think you look better looking than me, you probably are. <laughs> Thank you, Douglas County, for giving me the opportunity and for being here today to help, the com to help commemorate this moment in my life. Thank you, Douglas County government, for putting me in this position. Uh, to all that are here, I truly, truly do love you. Thank you very much. Wow, my, my, my. Congratulations once more, Chief Allen. We appreciate you. You've been a great colleague and a great friend. And I don't know that there are many more words after that. Thank you all for coming and being here for, uh, to be a part of this special occasion for Chief Allen. We appreciate you, and thank you for being here. Have a great day. Real quick, uh, I got my daughter here on FaceTime. Hi, daughter. <laughs> the communications team has your back. You know we have your back. We are recording this, and we will put this together um, and put it out on our platforms later in full so that your daughter can see it as well. Thank you all for coming. Have a great day.